Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for April 7th, 2022. Well, yesterday we had a little bit of bearishness came into the market and then a rally at the end of the day after those Fed min minutes seemed to initially shock the market that the Fed was going to start fighting um, inflation aggressively. Um, I, I, to me, that really wasn't a surprise, but it seemed to surprise the market a little bit that the Fed is actually going to be willing to sacrifice market growth, which we have kind of been trained for a long, long time um, that the Fed will always be there to ensure market growth. But now we're starting to see them turn that attention to fighting inflation in favor of market growth. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we buckle up, let's sit back and relax and get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts, see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Now, the bad news is we had a little bit of selling. So uh, what we have here is a lower high followed by a lower low. And we did break price support in the chart, as you can see here. And um, that is a little bit of a concern. Um, a lower high, lower low does signal that possibility of a downtrend. Um, we've already got folks out there suggesting, oh my gosh, the charts say rally, rally, rally. And that may be true. We may rally, but one of the things I want you to caution you against is we now have new resistance above in the chart. And when we break a support level in a chart, we want to make sure that we can recover that, prove to hold it, prove to hold it. And then we have that um, opportunity for that upside move in the market. So watch carefully for that. And let's remember that we could run into any of these resistance levels and reject those levels as we have right, uh, here in the recent past, um, considering that the Fed is going to become more aggressive here in the market. So watch that closely. Let's also keep in mind that the good news is, is the Dow, although we just briefly broke down through that 50 day moving average, um, the bulls were able to defend. So that is bullish for those charts. And we still have that 200 day moving average above that could provide some additional resistance. So we're kind of stuck in the middle of ranges here. So be a little bit careful and don't just blindly run into the market thinking that um, what the Fed actions uh, are have no ramifications because I do believe eventually they will. Let's also keep in mind that we have these overall patterns here. Here's that head and shoulders pattern. And then what we have um, occurring right in here is essentially following up with a possible double top in that chart. So we do want to be a little bit careful and cautious and just realizing that we may not have that opportunity to just rush right back in. Now on the other side of that, notice right in here that we could actually set up an inverted head and shoulders pattern. So you want to talk about a confusing market and kind of a schizophrenic market. We certainly have that in play here. So just make sure you're planning your trades carefully and don't over trade this market. We still have challenges ahead uh, for sure. Let's take a look at our SPY. SPY very much the same, uh, very similar patterns, um, rejecting that resistance here in the chart. And once again, we've got that lower high that came into play creating a lower low and once again we have that good news that we did not break that 50-day moving average we held that area as support so now the question comes in can the bulls will the bulls have enough energy to fight back and push back above these um, resistance levels in the chart well that's yet to be seen but we'll want to watch that closely and we do have some things today that could bring in some additional volatility let's take a look Look at our QQQ, very similar situation, a little lower high, 
break of support. We have a little downtrend. We have um, a hold above our 50 day moving average, but just that little bit of concern in here. Can we push back up through these levels right here to get us back on the right side of the technicals here in the chart? So, or price technicals, I should say, not uh, moving average technicals. So watch that closely. Still that question out there coming in the market that we'll need to address. And then if we take a look at the Russell, the Russell really kind of had some trouble here yesterday breaking down again we have that lower high that was created we broke price support in that chart and that possibility does exist whether we like it or not that we could test the lows here in the Russell now keeping in mind if those bulls can defend we still have to press back up through these areas to prove that we can hold here in the market so we've got some work here to do and notice we've kind of got some multiple layers in here to deal with with in that Russell chart still appears to me to be a relatively weak chart here overall in the markets let's take a look at our um, uh, VIX here this morning our VIX um, shot out pretty strongly yesterday but pulled back um, and particularly right at the end of the day it pulled back but what we ended up doing is closing above that 20 handle in the chart and I've been talking about that possibility that 20 handle so remember guys that this is not the important move necessarily this spike up in fear um, what we do want to watch for is now that possibility that we hold the higher low um, just like in the market where we create the lower low we want to push back through and um, um, break those resistance levels to push back to the upside here in the VIX just the opposite um, if um, you're a bear you definitely want to see a higher low be held here in the market if you're a bull you want to see that we don't hold that higher low and hold that 20 handle and we break that back down uh, both are certainly possible but um, it all depends on what your view of the market is where you'd like that to be but um, that 20 handle is certainly a support level in the chart that we'll want to be watching and then if we take a look at our T2122 interestingly enough T2122 is still suggesting that whoops uh, that we um, haven't moved all the way down to uh, push us into that bearish reversal zone so that's one of the reasons yesterday afternoon i was suggesting to members of right way options we might want to watch because at nine o'clock today james bullard speaks and he has proven to be the most hawkish of the fed members if you remember just one month ago he was calling for an aggressive move of a one point increase in the fed and was pointing to the credibility of the fed um, saying if we don't start acting aggressively on inflation you know we're really losing our credibility so um, we want to watch this closely in here because there is that possibility if he speaks and sounds really aggressive and hawkishly the market could react negatively to that and we could see that push down and we've seen a lot of this recently where we have that little bit of a push up in the pre-market trying to get things going and then immediately those sellers come in so that possibility that we could still drive this down a little bit lower um, does exist we want to watch carefully for that possibility and then i would not rule out the possibility even of a intraday whipsaw where we push down and then start to catch that little bit of rally and maybe get a little bit of relief going into friday so watch that carefully here um, in the charts um, we still haven't quite finished up this potential move to the downside doesn't necessarily mean that we have to um, by the way keep in mind notice that little trend right there we could bounce right off of this level but I just think that that um, Bullard co comments may create a little bit of volatility so watch carefully for that and then if we take a look at our whoops doggone it I don't know what I was thinking let's take a look at our t2108 t2108 unfortunately had a little bit of a, a trouble yesterday breaking some price support in the chart but we still have some pretty good levels of price support in here back down um, just below 50 percent of the stocks holding above their 40-day moving average and we certainly have to confirm that we did um, fail along this resistance line in the chart like it or not there, there it is let's hope we can find some price support in here and maybe uh, bounce and challenge um, again here in the chart without having to sink all the way back down and the same thing is true in our t 
um, T2107, um, we have that uh, possibility that we could breach some support levels in this chart. And we certainly have confirmed that we're following this downtrend. But we do have this support um, in price action here, that place where if we can get those bulls to defend, that push back up to maybe push for another retest um, in uh, uh, T2107. 34% of our stocks holding above the 200 day moving average. Not exactly a bullish case. If we take a look at our uh, T2101, uh, we had a little bit of back and forth in here yesterday on T2101. Uh, got a little bit of a rise, but we had just enough of that bullish action in here. And as a matter of fact, if you take a look overall in those charts, it was just a really light day of volume yesterday. Just really grindy light day of volume as I kind of uh, alluded to the chance that that might be the case. Um, yesterday in uh, the morning market prep video we could see a lot of just stalling and and waiting for the FOMC minutes and that's kind of the way it played out um, volatility came at the FOMC then let's take a look um, at what we have going on our um, um, economic calendar for today now I've already alluded to the fact that we have James Bullard speaking here at 9 p.m. So uh, we'll want to keep, or 9 a.m., we'll want to keep an eye on that. But before that, before the market opens, we get the jobless claims. Those have continued to stay pretty strong. One thing I do want to suggest is we may want to start watching for that possibility. If the economy is slowing, like some of the internal indicators suggest, we might actually start seeing those jobless claims starting to tick up just a little bit here in the near future. So keep a close eye on that. Um, we have natural gas reports. We have um, uh, Charles Evans, we've got John Williams later on today, and then we've got the Fed balance sheet, which is approaching $9 trillion um, in debt at the Fed. Um, so let's take a look on Friday, almost nothing going on here. Um, so we have a very light day of earnings and um, economic calendar on Friday, which kind of puts us in that situation where the, the market could react a little bit more or be more sensitive to some of those geopolitical news events out there in um, the market. But it also gives us that opportunity to just shake off all of this ugliness of the week and maybe catch a little bit of a rally. Let's take a look um, at our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar, we have about 40 companies on the calendar today, um, but a good deal of those are unconfirmed and a lot of them are the very small cap. Um, I have pulled out some notables here today, and if you want the full list, make sure you click the link um, um, in the in the uh, below the title of the video, and that'll take you back to the morning blog. Um, some of the more notables, um, and I'm going to do these really quick this morning. Con Agra, um, we'll want to be paying attention to that today. Con, whoops. Somehow I'm on a two-day chart. Con Agra uh, looks like it is moving sharply lower here this morning um, off of that um, price resistance high in the chart. We're also going to hear from STZ, Constellation Brands, uh, today. Keep an eye on that. Um, uh, WDFC, um, who doesn't like WD40? We all have a can or two around our house or garage. Uh, keep an eye on that, but certainly not a bullish chart here um, at all in WD40. So uh, again, not a whole lot of um, um, reports to move us around dramatically um, here in the market. So um, not a big issue or concern. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up here for today. But before we do that, guys, just really quickly, um, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, click that subscribe button on YouTube, click that bell icon when it pops up, and do me that favor, make sure you take the, take that moment that it takes to click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. Helps the channel to, to continue to grow, and I do truly appreciate it. I just want to say thank you so much. Yesterday we went over 27,000 subscribers, so we continue to grow. And um, honestly, it's just because of the great people and all of the great comments and things like that that continues to attract people to the channel. Thank you so much. Never in my wildest dreams would I have believed that there would have been an, um, that many people that are interested in non-biased, just focused on technicals 
in the charts um, um, without a whole bunch of prediction. So thank you so much, guys. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at some of these charts that could be setting up. And let's keep in mind, guys, that these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. Make sure, folks, that you always, always follow um, your trading rules, understand the risk of every trade, and never, ever just take someone else's recommendation for a trade idea and jump blindly into it. Know those risks before you trade. So let's take a look at a few of these charts that could be setting up and um, could be, um, well, trying to make some moves here in the market. Now, if, if we look at, um, some of these solar stocks they pulled back here just recently um, in the market but we're still holding some of these support levels in here so i would keep an eye continue to keep an eye on some of these solar stocks as these energy prices uh, continue to hold up alternative energies are going to become more and more prevalent uh, i think in the market so watch that closely things like um, um, nova trying to hold up in there looking pretty good um, overall yesterday we we had a um, earnings report from one of the cannabis companies um, that was a bullish um, a report and we popped and dropped on that news but we may want to watch some of these uh, cannabis stocks if they can start getting a little bit of improvement in some of this price action what I want you to notice is that possibility that we're creating that higher low here in the chart we've broken back above the 50-day moving average and a lot of these cannabis stocks and that higher low does set up that potential opportunity that we could start moving back to the upside watch them closely um, you may look at you could look at um, you know CGC uh, CRON um, for some examples making those higher lows in those charts let's take a look at some of the pay systems out there uh, now visa recently pulled back pretty hard here um, and a lot of the pay systems in the last couple of days have pulled back pretty hard but let's take note that they are holding into um, some support levels here in the chart and I still think there is that opportunity that some of these may move on higher and some of them have been extremely oversold like PayPal um, very oversold and they're starting to hold some higher lows in here so keep an eye on that if those bulls can kind of hang in there um, there may be that opportunity that that can start to push on higher so watch those closely I think there's opportunities for those to be setting up um, but you know just keep a close eye on those I do think it may be and you may want to keep an eye on some of the big tech um, um, after some selling notice we broke some support levels in these charts now we could watch these in a couple ways maybe that possibility that we get that bounce back that good strong bounce back but I think I would want to be watching these for that possibility after breaking the support any rally back I'd be watching for that potential where we could fail in that shorting pattern so watch the, some of those closely and we have quite a few of them that are um, well really suffered a lot we had um, AMD just continues to get um, just huge numbers of uh, positive comments out there um, uh, from you know the talking heads but I gotta tell you there's nothing about this chart yet that looks really bullish we do have a possibility for kind of a quadruple uh, bottom pattern here but we also run that potential that we could fail this level in the chart um, so despite all of the warm and fuzzy comments that it's been getting not exactly a bullish chart um, if you're a, um, a speculator um, want to be uh, kind of speculating or, or predicting this is the low well maybe there might be something there but I think for me what I would need to see is I need to see AMD pick kick pick up here hold that higher low and that may give me an opportunity then to pick up on um, some of those stocks that have been heavily sold off um, you might also want to be keeping a close eye on some of these financials financials um, continue to struggle and as we continue to see these bond rates 
um, con, you know, being um, um, inverted, um, that yield curve inverting. Um, uh, some of these banks are struggling here quite a bit. And we saw in those mortgage um, applications yesterday, a substantial decline is continuing in um, those mortgage applications, um, making it a little bit rough on the banks. And so you can see breaking down here in the XLF, um, 50 getting close to crossing down through the 200. Now, while we might catch a little bit of a rally, we certainly have built quite a level of price resistance and technical resistance in this chart if we do rally. And I would be watching those for that potential short. And if we see, um, look out there, um, some stocks like Citibank, 52 week lows, uh, continuing to show pressure in the market. BAC, our, our financials are struggling a lot. And I got to tell you guys, it's pretty rare that we see a bullish market when the financials st struggle. So keep a close eye on that. We still have some questions to be answered here overall. Don't just blindly rush back in thinking that the all clear has been sounded because we held onto some of those 50 day moving averages. If the Fed really becomes aggressive in here, what they're really saying is they're willing to sacrifice market growth to fight inflation. So the Fed is no longer backing um, the market. We haven't seen that for years and years and years. Um, it's almost since 2008, it's been a steady stream of any time the market sold off, the Fed rushed in to back it. That may not be the case now, so be kind of careful. And remember, wild speculation can create some awful painful situations in your account, so be careful. So with that, guys, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. I took some great profits yesterday. Members of Right Way Options took some great profits yesterday, and uh, that was fantastic. As a matter of fact, I would say I've probably traded less this year than a lot of years. Um, it, it, through that you know first quarter period of the market. But I can also say trading less has produced one of the best beginnings to my years that I've seen in a long time. I think it may be a record beginning in profits um, on this year, just playing that conservative line in um, this trading. So think about that carefully. Sometimes that aggressive trader is on the wrong side of the market. Y'all take care. Have an awesome day. I wish you all of the best, and we'll see you right back here bright early Friday morning.